Welcome to Thought for March the 23rd. Our readings are Numbers chapter 4, Proverbs chapter 1, and Luke chapter 15. And our thought is the beginning of knowledge. Today we start reading the Proverbs of Solomon. And the key verse that jumps out into our eyes is the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Our minds should be filled with awe as to all that God must be. It is the beginning of a foundation of wise thinking. The plea of Solomon is, Hear, my son, your father's instruction, and forsake not your mother's teaching. Verse 8. The acceptance and absorption into our minds of such teaching and instruction is like wearing a graceful garland. Yet today, how many parents are able and willing to teach true wisdom to their children? If they are able and willing, their children are surrounded by counter-influences, but the need for wisdom and instruction has never been greater. The message contains a strong warning about the opposite to true wisdom, the attitude of those who have no time for God. So the blunt warning is made, If sinners entice you, do not consent. Verse 10. Virtually no one thinks of themselves as being a sinner these days. Sin is an obsolete word. But there is no middle ground. The book of Proverbs makes this plain. If you are not on God's side seeking his will and guidance in making your pathway in life, you are against him. Wisdom is personified and cries aloud. At the same time scoffers delight in their scoffing, we read in verse 20 and 22. But wisdom says, If you turn at my reproof, behold, I will pour out my spirit to you. I will make my words known to you. Verse 23. And we can see that God's spirit has led to the Bible being written and preserved and our daily feeding on God's word will guide our lives. The chapter fittingly concludes, The complacency of fools destroys them. But whoever listens to me will dwell secure and will be at ease without dread of disaster. May we help each other to have ears ready to listen. Thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that it is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Thank you.